at the Los Angeles premiere of Bradley Cooper's new biography Maestro on Tuesday. Gaga and her former co-star got back together. His new leading woman, Carrie Mulligan, and his daughter Lee were also pren. Gaga, 37, who co-starred with Bradley in the 2018 musical A Star is Born, supported Bradley, 48, at the event hosted at the Academy Museum by going shirtless under a stylish black blazer with silver accents and tight black leggings. The 38-year-old mulligan turned heads in a glittering, floor-length, off-the-shoulder navy gown with dramatic sleeves. For the event, the English actress styled her platinum blonde bob in a short, straight haircut. Maya Hawk, 25, looked stunning in a structured ballerina-style brown and white sleeveless dress, matching it with pink shoes and white stockings. The long-lasting friendship between conductor-composer Leonard Bernstein, Cooper, and actress Felicia Monti Allegra Cohn Bernstein, Mulligan, is the subject of the new movie Maestro by Cooper and Mulligan. Five years earlier, Bradley and Gaga worked together on the film May Star is Born, in which he portrayed a hard-drinking musician who meets and falls in love with Gaga's character, the singer. Eight Oscar nominations were garnered for the movie, including one each for Cooper and Gaga for Best Actor and Best Actress. Cooper and his little Cooper were gleefully escorted into the auditorium by the blonde bombshell to watch the movie. During her red carpet debut, Bradley looked like a pleased father, holding hands with his six-year-old daughter, whom he has with his former fiancée, 37-year-old Russian supermodel Irina Shaikh. Lee dressed for the event in a Dolce & Gabbana dress with a cheetah design, white ballet flats, and a red and black crossbody purse, while he donned a traditional three-piece blue suit. In the movie, Lee also made her acting debut as Jamie Bernstein, the younger daughter of Leonard and Felicia, who is subsequently portrayed by Maya. Maya, who is actually the daughter of Hollywood icons Yuma Thurman and Ethan Hawke, had her hair in a scruffy mullet and wore dark red lipstick and black eyeliner. On the red carpet, Bradley and Carrie looked happy as they grinned and posed next to one another. Ted Sarandos, the 59-year-old CEO of Netflix, was also spotted posing with Bradley and Carrie. Sarandos looked dapper in a black suit, in a structured shoulder-long-sleeve plum sequin gown. 53-year-old Sarah Silverman was a vision. With a plunging metallic silver mini dress and matching silver heels, Alex Swinton flaunted her toned legs. Ashley Alfterhide, 18, dazzled in a ruffled, bright red dress and high heels. The 48-year-old Brian Klugman looked sharp in a pale yellow suit, brown dress shoes and a tie. Stephanie Tarling, his gorgeous wife, joined in. Wearing a dark gray metallic suit and black dress shoes, Gideon Glick, 35, exuded handsomeness. Keegan-Michael Key appeared with his wife Eliza Pugliese, looking stylish in a black and white graphic shirt dress, while wearing a gray suit. The 50-year-old Molly Sims flaunted her bust in a black gown featuring cutout. Her spouse, Scott Stuber, looked sharp in a black suit, and Joyner. Kelty Knight looked stunning in a translucent silver skirt and white blade. She wore a white tulle veil with her attire. The 72-year-old Jane Seymour looked radiant in a black outfit with feather accents. Michelle Tesoro looked chic in a black dress that was belted tightly at the waist. Wearing a black turtleneck underneath a jacket with a hound's tooth design, Matt Bomer, 46, looked dapper as ever. Bomer posed next to 35-year-old Jonathan Bailey, who had on a red shirt ticked under a white sweater and jeans. The film's co-producer, Steven Spielberg, 76, looked dapper in a gray suit with a gray sweater vest underneath. Leonard and his wife Felicia's relationship is described in Maestro. Bradley took the helm, working from a screenplay he co-wrote with Josh Singer. Bradley, Martin Scorsese, and Steven Spielberg were among the producers of the film. Bradley claimed that a serendipitous encounter on an airline encouraged him to pursue his new biography. The actress discussed the impending film during a recent appearance on The Howard Stern Show. The Academy Award-nominated actor admitted that there was a moment when he wanted to give up because he was so unhappy with the film's production. Bradley claimed that he was able to concentrate following an accidental encounter on an airplane with a woman who inquired about the movie and revealed that she was the late composer's goddaughter, who passed away in October 1990. 
to me, that moment was like Lenny saying, No, mother of asterisk 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 -er, you're doing this movie, he clarified. The film explores the connection between Bradley, who plays the title role, and Carrie, who plays Felicia, Bernstein's wife. Regarding the casting process, Bradley admitted to Howard, I just kept thanking Carrie Mulligan every time I saw a picture of Felicia. I was just fortunate enough to be open enough to listen to what this project was telling me to do, which happened a lot in this movie. It was a moment of divine intervention. Bradley, who previously directed the Oscar-nominated picture A Star is Born, spent six years meticulously researching both the conductor community and Bernstein's life before beginning work on the musical biography. He remarked, I'm completely obsessed with conducting, which is why I spent six years on it. He talked candidly about his first time leading an orchestra to perform Gustav Mahler's Second Symphony, Because it is its own live, breathing entity, Bradley remarked, I can almost compare it to riding a stallion. Thus, you have to be in charge of it, let it, and serve as its captain, but you also have to acknowledge that the orchestra in front of you is a strong organ in. Leading Symphony No. 2 was heavier than Metallica, Bradley informed Howard. I just felt like it was so powerful, he continued. Basically, it's similar to riding a drag. It was really insane. Matt Bomer, Vincenzo Amato, Greg Hildreth, Michael Eury, Brian Kligman, Nick Blimery, Mallory Portnoy, and Sarah Silverman are also in the cast of the next film. Netflix is scheduled to release Maestro on December 20.